everyone, welcome to another episode of the Power Oil Healthy Food Series where I show you how to make lots of healthy and mouth-watering recipes using the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. Like you may already know, the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil is a healthy cooking oil that's fortified with vitamins A and E and omega-6 and 9 which makes them ideal for cooking healthy recipes. So today I'm going to show you how to make an easy but flavor-packed dinner recipe that takes all of 20 minutes to create. My brown sugar chicken with some steamed vegetable rice is always a winner on my table. And I'm about to make that your experience too. Let's get started, shall we? For this recipe, you need some chicken thighs, brown rice, soy sauce, brown sugar, some salt, chopped onions, pepper, minced garlic and ginger, and some mixed veggies, and of course, the power oil, pure vegetable oil. So to begin this cooking process, I'm going to start with the chicken. Now, chickens are a great and affordable source of proteins, and proteins are a bodybuilding food that's required by the body, to build, to repair, and to maintain the body muscles. Chickens also contain vitamin B3, which is needed for the metabolism of fats and sugars in the body. And of course, they also contain minerals like phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and zinc. So those are some of the health benefits of chicken, and that's why it's important that you incorporate more chicken into your recipes if you can, so that you can be a part of all of the benefits that chicken has to offer, okay? So I'm just placing my chicken pieces on this white plate here. I'm using some chicken thighs because I find that they are the most flavorful parts of the chicken. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is just um, pat the chicken dry with a kitchen paper towel, just to re remove any excess moisture that will prevent it from crisping up when I pan sear it next. I'm just gonna generously season the chicken with some salt and some white pepper. Now you don't need a lot of seasoning for this at this point. Remember that I said that the thighs are packed loaded with flavor. I'm flipping this to the other side as well. I repeat the patting process just to ensure that I remove any excess moisture and then I'll season again with some salt and of course some white pepper. That's all the seasoning that you need for this. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to grab a pan and place it on medium heat. And then I'll grab my favorite kitchen companion, which of course is my power oil. And I'll give it a good drizzle into the pan. Allow the oil to heat up slightly, then grab the chicken pieces and add to the pan. Be sure not to overcrowd the pan, okay? Leave to brown on one side for four to five minutes, then flip to the other side and allow to brown for another four minutes. Then take the chicken pieces out of the pan and place on a plate. In a clean pan, add another drizzle of oil, then grab the chopped onions and saute for 30 seconds. Add the scotch bonnet peppers and minced garlic and stir fry for a further 10 seconds. Afterwards, add the low sodium soy sauce into the pan and dilute with some water or chicken stock. Then add the brown sugar, give it a good stir, cover the pot and allow to simmer gently for about 3 to 4 minutes. Then grab the pan seared chicken and transfer into the sauce. You guys, the smell in the kitchen is so aromatic and so heavenly. Okay, so I'm just ensuring that the chicken pieces are coated with the soy sauce mixture. And what I'll do next is just cover this up and allow it to simmer for about seven to eight to 10 minutes until the chicken has soaked up all of that sauce goodness. And then the sauce would have thickened up slightly. And then while it is cooking, over here I already have some brown rice that's perfectly cooked. So what I'm gonna do next is just transfer all of this beautifully colorful chopped vegetables. I have some carrots, some red bell peppers, and some green bell peppers and I also have some sweet corn and some green peas as well. I'll just throw that in. Any chance I get to eat more vegetables or to add vegetables into my meal, I take it. Like I do not 
um, take vegetables or joke with vegetables at all. I'm just cleaning that up, guys. And then I would also throw in the sweet corn and the, the green peas. Who doesn't like a colorful meal, guys? <laughs> Remember, you eat with your eyes first. I'll just stir that in together just to combine everything together. I think the rice needs just a little tiny bit of oil so that it helps separate it. Power oil, healthy cooking oil. <laughs> and then I'll just stir it around just to combine everything together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just cover this up and allow it to steam for about two minutes just so that my vegetables can have some time to cook and soften up slightly. This is cooking. This is cooking. I'm a happy woman. <laughs> After about eight minutes of cooking, this is what it should look like. All that's left now is to serve this on a plate and enjoy with some steamed vegetable brown rice. When you see me dancing, what do you think? It's time for the taste test, guys. My favorite part of the entire cooking process. Oh, you guys, this looks absolutely mouth-watering. Like, I already know what it tastes like, right? <laughs> I'm just giving you a sneak peek, like a feel of what to expect when you make yours. Mm. The sauce is hitting all the right spots. <laughs> I'm also gonna have a taste of the chicken. The chicken is so juicy. Oh, and it's really soft, succulent. I'm using all the right words. Mmm. You okay. guys, let me not finish everything on set. Let me save some for after this show. <laughs> If you're ever in doubt about what to make for dinner, this recipe is gonna clear your doubts. Like it's finger licking good. Kids love it, adults love it, which makes it very family friendly. Of course, I use the power of pure vegetable oil to make this dish. So you better hurry now and get yours so that you can recreate this recipe for yourself, your family, and your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.